a bad workman always learns his tool. If you don't keep doing swans, you're gonna get out of practice and not be able to do a swan. <laughs> Sometimes I take you off guard, don't I? Good morning, how are we today? I have decided, started I mean to go on and get myself in focus. There I am, hi. Put some makeup on. I've just done my foundation. Connor is out working, doing a favour for one of our neighbours. I just thought I'd put the camera on and go about my day. Whoop. Oh no. I should go wash this. I've been a bit trapped in an old school YouTube, like the old videos, like we're talking like five year ago videos that I've been watching this morning from various people. And yeah, I just, I miss good old little boring vlogs so i'm gonna make you a boring house vlog <laughs> seeing as though i'm not going out today because it's really grey out there me and connor have been up to lots of nice housey things in the past couple of days we've been tidying doing all the laundry because at the beginning of lockdown i felt like i could keep on top of things and i was we were doing laundry all the time for like proper adults um, but then since as the time has gone on, I've gotten pretty bored of doing housework. I've got pretty bored of cooking. I've got pretty bored of <laughs> just doing all the boring things and not being able to do fun things. The house is tidy now though, which is nice. This room's not that tidy, but uh, the kitchen is why we focus most of our energies the other day. Yeah, Connor's going back to work tomorrow, actually. He's going in for a couple of hours to get the new lay of the land i think like new systems in place and whatever just to keep everyone apart and safe i'm not sure when i'll be back yet still but i think it's soon we had word that there's going to be a new rotor up shortly so hopefully i'll be back because i'm a bit bored now not doing anything don't get me wrong i have enjoyed the guilt-free three months off work. When am I ever gonna get that again? It'll be nice to go back to some sort of normality. And as of the day after tomorrow, you can go around to people's houses. So that's pretty exciting. Gosh, I haven't worn makeup for a while. Oh, last time I wore makeup was the last time I did a Zoom, which was a long time ago too. And when Zooms were a thing, are they still a thing? Oh, what else have we done? Oh, Connor built another flower bed in the garden yesterday and we went down to his mum and dad's and robbed some plants from them. I swear it's like the only reason we go anywhere. My mum gave us some mint again the other day which is in a pot so hopefully it should survive. And with the rest of my day I need to do some editing. I have a what I eat in a day for and after the big food shop which I need to edit together, which might be quite good. So hopefully that should be up actually by the time this one's out. Which I actually can't even remember what I ate. I feel like both days are like, e they're either like really the same or really different. I can't remember. I'm a bit of a creature of habit though. I do eat very similar things. But me and Connor, we do um, two weekly shops. So instead of doing one every week, we do one every two weeks. Um, and then we just top up bread and milk and like other essentials if we run out like cheese and butter and stuff but we try and buy like two weeks worth of meals and pop them in the freezer most of it which is quite good it's quite handy I feel like it's it saves money because every time you go to the shop you want to buy more and I feel like if you just go to the shop every two weeks the big shop anyway it just makes everything better. Will that do? I think that'll do. Maybe I'll brush my hair. I haven't brushed my hair for a long time. I need to dye my hair, Jesus Christ. Ugh. Okay, done for the day. Now I just need to get dressed. I'm molting like crazy at the minute as well. I'm not sure why. Um, I need to get dressed. I feel like I need to wear real clothes. Not just practical pajamas. I'm dressed just gone for this because it makes you look like you've put effort in but actually it's the comfiest thing that i own <laughs> Ooh, tripping down the stairs, Jesus 
that all being said about going back to work soon, I'm going to attempt to do some latte art <laughs> to get back into the swing of it because I work in a cafe. We're going to use my coffee machine, which to be honest I don't use as much as I should. Connor reckons it was a waste of money, but I still stand by it because it makes the best hot chocolates. Um, so let's try. I'm going to have to find my tripod one day, but that'll do for now, will it? bunch of towels all right so i feel like the key i have found with doing latte art is a round like rounded cup because while i could probably do it in a mug when i'm doing it at work this coffee machine obviously just it's automated so you have to sort of work with what you've got a bad workman always blames his tools but honestly it's so much better doing it yourself trust I'm gonna go for just a good old little capsule. And then what do we want? I want a flat white. So I'm gonna say that. And then let me have a look at these settings with you. So flat white. And then we want the milk, the coffee volume to be up top because it's never enough. The milk temp, on here it's very hot but it actually isn't, like it's kind of fine. And then the setting, I might even put it down to setting one, you know, because you don't want it that frothy. Not when you're doing latte art. We're going to go for it with the coffee, so that's going to come out. And then we'll get our milk ready. There's like two lines and I normally put it in between the bottom and the top. Put that under. Start the milk. So I have actually been doing it on setting two this whole time and I'm kind of okay at doing it. Oh, goodness. I'm kind of all right at the business, but um, we'll see. All right, so wipe that down straight away before it purges. And then what you want to do, might have seen baristas doing this, uh, but they pack the jug that's to get rid of any big bubbles and then they swirl it around to make sure it's all mixed in you don't need to be too vigorous with it and then let's see if I can do this oh my god pour from high and then as you get lower the white should ugh, come out <laughs> I didn't have enough milk maybe I should have poured it to the top but you know, I've not been at work for three months and it's a automated wand. But there you go. That's a bit of white. <laughs> when you see baristas doing that tap thing, it's not just because it looks cool. It's to get rid of the big bubbles. And then they swill it round to make sure it's all sort of that nice glossy milk texture. And then they pour from high. And then as they get lower, that's when the white bit starts coming out. And that's when you can do your drawing. But obviously you've just got to play around with your settings, the amount of milk you have. Like I ran out of milk there, but that's not why it's bad. <laughs> it's bad because I'm out of practice. I'm going to try and do that every day, I reckon, until I go back to work. I've got some good latte. I did a swan once. Practice, though. You've got to keep it up. If you don't keep doing swans, you're going to get out of practice and not be able to do a swan. I can't wait to go back and have real coffee every day. Can you imagine? Oh! Love it. I get a bit hooked. Not gonna lie. Alright, I have been editing. Um, it's nearly done. I just need to add, like, sound and... Um, oh, that's nice when the fan stops. I just need to add sound and text. But I thought I would just show you my amazing hot water bottle. Look how big it is. <laughs> my mum got me it for Christmas and it's amazing because I am cramp city today and it's just really keeping me going. Uh, but it is lunchtime so I'm going to have some lunch. Connor's not back yet. I don't know how long he's going to be on this job. What else have I done? I should probably update you on some plant stuff because it's just all go with these plants. Um, the Wandering Jew's doing really well. Oh, I repotted him. Maybe I didn't do a very good job of repotting him because that just came out, but I'll shove it back in. 
but it seems to be doing really well you know that it just all came out <laughs> look it's ruined um and then this little guy so on here the other day it was like growing little little off cuts like this but like 10 of them on one little thing so i cut it off and planted it or i, I put it in some um water and the roots grew bigger so i've repotted him and then i think my burrow's tail at least one of them is getting roots on too so that's all go and then everything else is the same but it's all doing well in this lovely break room okie dokie it's a little bit later it's about three half two three ten to three and i'm struggling a bit with the old cramp situation not gonna lie you take my mind off of it i'm gonna try and bake so i made these oat biscuits right back at the beginning of lockdown remember that that was fun wasn't it everyone was watching tiger king and we didn't realize it was gonna go on till the middle of summer but yeah those were the days eh and they worked really well and then i tried to make them again the week a week later and they went all funny and like rock cakes so I'm going to try it again. Basically the first time I did it, I had like really old baking powder and I feel like it just didn't work. So I'm going to do the recipe but not put any baking powder in. So when I did them the next time, I'd bought more baking powder and it like, they puffed up loads. So I'm not going to put them in. I'm going to do everything else. So it's just the BBC Good Food Oat Biscuit Recipe. That is what we should have by the end of today what we're aiming for you're gonna need 75 grams of flour 75 grams of porridge oat 50 grams of sugar 75 grams of butter a tablespoon of golden syrup and two tablespoons of milk that's going crazy okay google turn it down too saski's literally going wild go on then Free box? No, I haven't got anything. <laughs> Free box, come on. Come on. What's this? Is it in there? Go on in. <laughs> High five. Go, go. Free box. Free box. Whoa. Okay, brief Saskia interlude. We'll keep doing that, I'm sure, throughout. Um, so dry ingredients in a bowl, and then wet ingredients. We're gonna melt. The problem that I'm facing is that I don't have any greaseproof paper. We're gonna have to see if tinfoil works. Oh, now, I am going to weigh them because, well, say 25 grams. That timer for 10 minutes. All right, 10 minutes. The first batch is out. They're a bit puffy. Connor seems to be enjoying them. I'm going to try one. Oh, oh great. It's hot that, isn't it? Like, oh, hot. It's just come out of them. I mean, they taste nice. They're just not what I wanted them to be like. I have to try again, more. Mm. Okay, it's a bit later. We've just watched um, the first two episodes of Preacher on Amazon. I've watched the first series before. Connor never has, so because we've run out of everything else to watch. We've watched the whole of Buffy, we've watched Alex Ryder, we've watched um, almost all of The Man in the High Castle. We've already watched the first series, so we finished that, and we were just at a loss of what to watch, so we've decided to watch Preacher. I'm just running a bath, because I feel like they're very underrated when it comes to summer. People just forget about baths, so I'm having a, I'm having a bath. And then I think we're gonna get a pizza, because Connor goes back to work tomorrow. So like the closest thing to a weekend we've had <laughs> um so yeah maybe i'll show you our pizza when it gets here 
here. Here's our pizza, everybody, and my Connor. Pizza. You are a snack, though. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I take you off guard, don't I? <sighs> You're a mess. I'm not a mess. Look at you. We got <laughs> our pizza, um, and we've gone for a pepperoni and a margarita and gone half and half. A margarita? Simple but nice. Thank you. That is what it's called from the place we get it. And chips with paprika Simple, salt. Simple but nice. 